Assalamu alaikum. Myself, Me Raisa Zafar, research scholar from Cod, University of Kashmir, will be your host for today's event. Respected dignitaries, academia, research scholars, and my dear friends, a very good afternoon to all of you. I feel highly honored in welcoming one and all for this pioneering event marking the inaugural ceremony of the Conservation Science and Innovation Laboratory at Center of Research for Development, University of Kashmir. I would like to offer my heartfelt congratulations and best wishes to all the stakeholders for setting up this laboratory as we mark this significant milestone for the first ever Conservation Science and Innovation Laboratory in University of Kashmir. To begin with, I welcome all the dignitaries and our revered guests for this occasion. At the outset, I, on behalf of the Center of Research for Development and University of Kashmir, welcome all of you for this inaugural function for the conservation of science and innovation, Koshi Laboratory under our Center, University of Kashmir. It is an absolute pleasure to hold such an intellectually stimulating and prestigious events. I will start with the statement of Mahatma Gandhi, the father of nation. The greatness of a nation can be judged by the way its animals are treated. It would be absolutely useless for us, for any of us, to save wildlife without working to educate the next generation of conservationists. According to the recent Worldwide Fund for Nature, humans are behind the current rate of species extinction, which is at least 100 to 1,000 times higher than nature intended. We have seen an astonishing 60% decline in the size of population of mammals, birds, fishes, reptiles, and amphibians in just last 40 over years. An increasing attention is focused on global change and loss of biodiversity. It is critical to understand the changes and challenges of wildlife population, face and use tools now available for management and conservation of wildlife species. For your kind information, COD is a UGC approved center at the university to promote multidisciplinary research, including wildlife research. COD has been a partner and beneficiary of CSR CCMB National Mission Project. This center at this University of Kashmir, with support from CSR CCMB, Autol Incubation Center, CCMB, and IKP Knowledge Park, a state-of-the-art conservation science and innovation laboratory is being established with the help of Rural Electrification Corporation Limited Foundation under CSR initiative. The, the COSI lab will be functional as a field, of, field office providing training and forensic diagnostic service and will improve livelihood and regional sustainability. The center was established in 1979 aiming to, the, to solve the regional problem with scientific approach. Professor Jagadish Shankar, a renowned scientist from Bhabi Atomic Research Center, Trombe, Bombay, was the first director of COD. He laid down the roadmap of future research, specially aiming to development with local resources. We are still following his path. Today's event is another milestone. COD, the only NABIT accredited center in Jammu and Kashmir. Major objective of the center is to encourage cooperation, coordination, and teamwork across boundaries of departments and faculties of university and laboratories of central and state government so as to identify various problems related to the overall development of the state, try to suggest and develop techniques for their mitigation, and develop new techniques to make improvement in the already existing techniques. Right from its inception, the center has been quite active in establishing a multidisciplinary and inter-institutional research base and has made considerable progress in the research area like lake conservation, forest ecology, fisheries development, medicinal plants, wildlife conservation, micropropagation and conservation of plants, microbiology, biochemistry, molecular biology, and cancer genetics. Special contribution of the center is to impart training to officials, scientists of the state, and central institutions like Lauda, Fisheries Department, Central Silk Board, and Pollution Control Board. Conduct water analysis of various samples provided by state government agencies like State Pollution Control Board, 
Lakes and Waterway Development Authority, Economic Reconstruction Agency, Public Health Engineering, and NIT Srinagar. Conservation genetics uses a combination of ecology, molecular biology, population genetics, mathematical modeling, and evolutionary taxonomy. The main goal of the conservation genetics is to apply the knowledge of genetics to reduce the risk of extinction. Unfortunately, it has not received its deserved place in the biodiversity conservation effort. The continued development and integration of wildlife DNA forensics will be critical for successful management of the many significant social and conservation issues related to the illegal wildlife trade and wildlife law enforcement. Wildlife beast inside the Kuno National Park, the once forgotten gem of Madhya Pradesh, now home to cheetahs. Nature and environment, animals and birds are not just a matter of sustainability and security of India, but of us, they are also basis of our sustainability and spirituality. Hence, conservation genetics must be an essential part of policies and programs in wildlife conservation and biodiversity <laughs> management. Our journey to establish this lab started way back in 2018 when I made a visit uh, to Srinagar and uh, made a contact with uh, different people, uh, including the then director of uh, CARD, Professor uh, Asra Kamli, and uh, uh, then also visited uh, uh, the officials of uh, the Wildlife Protection Department. And uh, I received a very uh, warm reception throughout, not just the first time, every time. And that uh, really gave me the inspiration that this place really deserves more than what it actually has. And uh, uh, coming from a, a place that has uh, spawned many institutions in the country. CCMB has been a, a pioneering lab among the CSAR labs to have uh, uh, budded out uh, many institutions, many labs, and uh, many startups now, and many businesses which have been successful. And we hope that this lab would be one among our jewels in the crown. And we think that this lab will highlight our uh, responsibility to social issues which are very important to be addressed in the country. 2019 and 20 saw the worst uh, uh, years for all of us. We went through a pandemic. Our project continued. We had people stationed here. They worked tirelessly. They contributed to the project. This again provided a great reinforcement that we have to give back something to this place. And uh, all this culminated uh, to me as a, uh, as a problem that uh, I need to address by doing something which is uh, quite remarkable. And we have done that today. And thank you for all your support. And uh, you have extended extremely important support to all of us. And in 2021, <laughs> in 2021, uh, we proposed uh, the setting up of this lab. And uh, our proposals were many, many, the, many proposals were, were sent to different people. And uh, one of the first uh, uh, people who came up and said, we like this proposal, we want to go ahead with this, was IKP Knowledge Park. And I really thank them for the uh, comments that they gave and uh, how we improved uh, based on the comments. And finally, they are uh, here at this uh, place where this lab has been uh, finally inaugurated. And then our uh, uh, requirements were not uh, sufficiently met. We went to RECL. And RECL, again, provided a generous support. I, I extend my warm uh, thanks to all the people who reviewed our proposals and uh, supported this cause. I was just uh, going through the, uh, this uh, folder and uh, I, I could read somewhere that uh, this particular project will help uh, in, uh, you know, controlling the crime against uh, wildlife. Uh, so I have read, you know, crime against women, but I was, you know, first time this thought came into my mind. 
Uh, I know there are so many atrocities uh, can be done to the wildlife, uh, but it's a very good word that has been used, crime against uh, wildlife. Uh, I'm very happy that uh, we have got the support from CCMB uh, for put, uh, you know, uh, putting up the research equipment for a conservation science uh, innovation laboratory. Uh, in court, uh, I am sure that it will be very beneficial uh, for our setup, uh, for our wildlife conservation. We have all uh, officers from uh, wildlife department here. I would definitely uh, like to see, I could uh, read it in the folder, there will be some data, preliminary data available and after some time we'll be evaluating how this lab has helped us. Uh, so definitely, I think it will be uh, very helpful. COD is a very uh, old uh, center of research and development. Uh, uh, being a, a neighborly uh, department of COD, I know COD has always been uh, very much, uh, you know, uh, engrossed in various uh, activities uh, of research and development, whoever the directors are. Uh, the, some of the previous directors are sitting over here. Uh, I have also seen Dr. Niamat Ali when he joined the university. And uh, I must say that he takes, uh, he also takes things very seriously, keeps on coming to me uh, with the, uh, you know, notes to uh, what he has to do and all that. I'm sure that under his leadership, it will uh, move forward and he has taken pains in establishing this particular uh, lab. We are thankful to our, uh, you know, uh, collaborators who have set up this lab, uh, but I would definitely like to see uh, how we make use of this lab and uh, a very costly equipment has been set up there. Uh, definitely uh, it should be utilized and the equipment should not be kept idle. And if any other department or any other university uh, from our uh, place wants to use it, uh, we can see the possibility of uh, having multidisciplinary research and how they can also uh, utilize it. Uh, with these words, uh, I once again congratulate our uh, department of court and the organizers and the collaborators for uh, you know, excellent research equipment and setting up this lab from uh, the administration side of this university. Always welcome to organize any program, uh, research, academic, or extension. And uh, we look forward to CCMB for such collaborations in future also, uh, so that uh, University of Kashmir we have lots of infrastructure that you have seen. We want to utilize it for the benefit of our scholar, scholars, for the benefit of the researchers, for the benefit of the whole country. And for this, our doors are always open, uh, whether uh, it's the government of our UT or any other research institute of the country. I do look forward for such collaborations in future also. Uh, with these words, once again, congratulations and uh, all the success to the uh, organizers of this particular program. Thank you very much. So at the outset, I congratulate uh, uh, this Center for Research and De Development called University of Kashmir for this added facility with them. And uh, I thank uh, CCMB on behalf of uh, Forest Department uh, wildlife Department and uh, as a chairperson in JNK Biodiversity Council, I look after biodiversity also. So from that behalf also I thank CCMB and look forward to Dr. Niamat Ali and his team. Uh, our memorandum of, of understanding of collaborative endeavors with the uh, Kashmir University that is already there, uh, draft is ready, I think it is with the registrar Kashmir University. Very soon you will be signing a MOU also on the collaborative research. Uh, so I would take a you know, couple of minutes to tell you about the forests of Jammu and Kashmir because uh, Dr. Niyamat Ali made a slight introduction. 
See, you are very lucky. Uh, the forests of Jammu and Kashmir are the best in terms of growing stock per hectare. You know, on per hectare, how much biomass you have. So you are best in the country. When you have the best growing stock, you are going to have a best ecosystem services in terms of carbon sequestration. So the best carbon stock in the country on per unit area basis is also highest in Jammu and Kashmir. Jammu and Kashmir also has the highest biodiversity at herbaceous level. You know, you have trees, you have shrubs, and then you have herbs. So herbaceous biodiversity is maximum. So as far as this lab is concerned, you know, uh, we look after biodiversity means the variability, you know, in life forms at the level of ecosystem, at the level of species, and at the level of genetic level, genetics. So I think at the level of DNA. So we are sitting in Naseem Bar, and Chinar is our state tree. So Department of Floriculture is, uh, you know, cast with this, uh, you know, official business to look after Chinar. But Forest Department, since the last three to four years, we have been given a responsibility to supplement the effort of Department of Floriculture. So I think we are already documenting all the mighty Chinars of Kashmir Valley. More than 11,000 we have already documented. They are being geotagged and heritage register is uh, being built for all the mighty chinars of the valley. We are also promoting chinars and very, I mean, in the beginning of this year, we transplanted two large chinars uh, from Foreshore Road to Char Chinar, which was divide of, you know, uh, uh, two chinars. And uh, so it is now having the, all the four chinars. Uh, but when it comes to the duty of this lab, we, we talk about wildlife, but wildlife includes wild plants also. So there, I think, a lot of uh, studies can be done in the plant life also. But this lab's first and foremost uh, you know, contribution would be solving the wildlife crimes. Because earlier, the chief wildlife warden used to send the sample to you know, uh, Wildlife Institute of uh, India, Dehradun. And they used to wa wait months for the results of the samples so that further you know, process and further proceedings of the court could be you know, expedited. But now the samples would be tested here only. But in terms of plant, in terms of plants, I think we'll be getting a lot of research uh, for the investigation at the genetic level. For example, this chinar. Now we are working on promotion of chinar, but we use, we should promote only the best genetic, uh, you know, gene pool for the future. So we are having already the vegetative multiplication garden, the chinar, using many, many individuals, but perhaps this lab will help us, which is the best gene pool for the chinar, so that subsequent, uh, you know, multiplication could be for that. We are working a lot on creation of livelihood for the biodiversity management committees, which are there in all village panchayats, which are there in all village panchayats of Jammu and Kashmir, and all uh, urban local bodies. We already have a city biodiversity index prepared for Srinagar city and Jammu city. Srinagar city is the 10th city in the country among the 200 smart cities, and Jammu is the ninth city in the country to have a you know, city biodiversity index. So in that way, you know, the contribution of this lab could be to assess you know, various changes which are happening at the ecosystem level or you know, species and genetic level. So I think uh, with these words, I would uh, once again thank the organizers to associate me the idea of animal conservation, I mean, the, I mean, the number of samples we actually get at CCMB, which are, you know, due to poaching and other things, is staggering. It's a pretty big number. And we are not the only lab, and many other labs around also get lots of samples in the context of, you know, to find out what is being poached and what kind of animal, uh, uh, what, what kind of animal it is that has been poached. It's, it's a, as it was told a while ago, crime against the wildlife is pretty high. We kind of ignore uh, or we don't even realize what kind of crime that goes on around us. In addition to that, our population in the world is now going to touch 8 billion uh, in a while, which essentially means we are actually occupying the places that were at one point of time occupied by animals, right? So there is a, conflict that comes in and lot of um, lot of animals become extinct because of all these uh, changes that are happening around us. In fact, there is now a science that is emerging which talks about all these things called One Health 
you are talking about an ecosystem influence on how the pandemics and how the epidemics and all these things happen animal to humans and then you have environmental impacts we all know about global health uh, global uh, uh, warming all these things are kind of highly connected and this is where the future of our where our research is going to be so in this context i would like to uh, seriously thank uh, uh, RECL for funding this venture here they have actually put in quite a lot of money as a part of social, corporate social responsibility to set up this lab and for uh, almost two crores actually and then for IKP for contributing quite a lot of equipments and huge support for establishing this lab our contribution is more intellectual in this and all the money for setting it up comes from these two so when you have something like a lab of this kind that is being set up what is the utility one spread of knowledge and second you know as it was very clearly told by uh, uh, dr mohit gira that you know now the work can what used to be sent to other places can be done right here and over and above if you have a lab there will be some level of research that goes on these things flourish and people who are currently here not working in these areas get an opportunity to work to start with let me tell you we have i mean from the time i was a graduate student at tata institute i mean indians of sciences bangalore till today i have always seen lot of kashmiri uh, uh, students from university of kashmir and they are pretty talented so i generally believe lot of exchange of this kind and lot of knowledge that gets built up in a system is good for the system in total it gives a better exposure to the student you guys have a seriously talented students here and idea is they can contribute in many areas including ecology and conservation today is a landmark day with respect to the wildlife conservation in the annals of the conservation programs in jnk <coughs> because jnk having largest percentage of wildlife protected area in the country we have 11.5% of the geographical area of ut under wildlife protected area network which is highest percentage in the country i think it's more almost double to the national average besides we are having unique flora and fauna with respect to wildlife whether it is flora is concerned as respected pcc have said hangul the on, only red deer species we have only in jnk nowhere else in the world markhor the biggest wild goat is found only in jnk not in any other part of the country similarly we have rare and endangered species musk deer is there himalayan tahar is there so wildlife conservation becomes very very important and its forensics are also equally important because we know that crime against wildlife has been there and is there and as we know after the drug trade narcotics trade which is biggest in the world the second biggest trade is the wildlife products which is the illegal trade this is a kind of a very satisfying feeling for us uh, to see the day of course it's the beginning of a long activity but at the same time beginnings are equal important and i completely thank uh, from my whole heart Uh, the support that we have received from various departments of university of kashmir uh, very very grateful for that there are traditional techniques of conservation are available but at the same time complementing supplementing and adding value using science based evidence is very critical and that is what in last 20 years we have understood by making science based evidence we are able to solve so many cases not only conservation in so many other areas of uh, life so it's very important these kind of efforts to be uh, spread around not only in here but in various other places we want university of kashmir to be the hub 
of essentially North India for this kind of activity to spread out. Just before closing, I want to add one more uh, small thing, and I see a lot of students here. And one of the things that IKP Knowledge Park came up at that point of time was to support entrepreneurs, entrepreneurs in wildlife conservation. Don't think these two are two different entities. Like, you know, I, we have received proposals whether I can monitor wildlife by acoustic methods, by monitoring the sounds of the animal without actually going into the field are very sophisticated imaging technologies. There are so many available, but I just want the student community here to look at it as an option. And these days, the support systems are plenty. It's a matter of getting a right idea and uh, a kind of sincerity that's important. And I wish uh, these kind of uh, activities will ignite you and come up with a, your own innovation. In fact, I was thinking your card center should be renamed as Card I, Center of re, uh, you know, Research Development Innovation. You know, uh, I, I feel that it should be something like that. I thank you very much again for being with us.